benefit from an early test for ovarian cancer. It wasn't until finally my tummy bloated to the point where I looked like I was about seven months pregnant that we actually knew something was wrong. Since her diagnosis, she's had a few relapses and several rounds of chemotherapy. I've had the same treatment that's been around for the last 30 years. I had a radical hysterectomy. I had removing of five litres of fluid. Nearly 8,000 women over the next five years will be diagnosed with ovarian cancer in Australia. Over half of them will die from the disease. Women present quite late with it, so you are treating a late stage disease often. And the treatments that we currently have are, are, are limited. The Hudson Institute of Medical Research has joined with the global investor to create a spin-off company to scale up a potential new treatment. To turn discovery into new therapies and new drugs. Their new therapy is based on findings that small proteins in the reproductive tract called interferon epsilon can activate immune cells to fight infections as well as cancer. Researchers plan to begin human trials of this therapy within two years. The first step is to ensure the compound is safe. We need to do something different. At the moment, there are too many women dying from this disease. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News.